This is a video response to Zombie Man's subscriber giveaway. This is Old and Tatted coming to you from his man spot in the back of the house. Yeah, there, Carly Dog, the Harley Dog. So, you're asking five questions and I want a shout out. Well, I'll do two. I have two subscribers that I'll shout out to. One, Extreme Cat Fishing, Hiking Fool, getting me in shape, walking me miles and miles and miles. Wait a minute, can you hear me? Walking me miles and miles and miles in the damn Arizona desert. And another one, Long 13 Hair. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't see this channel. He brought me out of a funk showing me his bikes, so I got mine back on the road, and I'm not sitting in a chair, vegetating. I'm out there being more alive, should I say. So you ask five questions. First one, weapons. What kind of weapons? Well, besides the military, a buddy of mine's got a Galil, chamber 308. That's an Israeli sniper rifle. We blast boulders off of mountains out here with that thing when you can afford the ammo. Which comes to my point. Mine, 30 some odd year old Winchester model 190, 22. Takes shorts, longs, long rifle. Easy ammo. I can dot an eye 50 yards. Take out an animal 100 yards, no problem. So, uh, if I need a critter getter, this is what I use right here. The other one firearm I have, my little Giuseppe right here, 25 auto. That's for up close and personal. Yeah, you know when you have to cross the T as well as dot the I. But uh, what I have to tell you with, we're in your zombie apocalypse. You're going to have to figure out something that's going to last a while because ammo might become hard to come by. And rifles and pistols are good while you have the ammo, but my first hand-to-hand -hand combat instructor always told me that a knife is never empty. No ammo for a knife. Hack, cut, swat, cut, 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 hack, swat. Never runs out, unless your arm does. So, you have that one. Nice razor sharp right there. Good idea, huh? Right behind the head. And then I have a little pig sticker here that I made. Sheath and all. I got a Dones bar and a diamond sharpener in there. Here's a nice little baby. Bought the blade on the internet from one of the sellers of uh, cheap knives. And I put my own pack of wood handles to fit on there and my old sheath. It uh, came with one of them little nylon things. That would be my weapon right there. So, next question. Camo, no camo? Well, most of the stuff I get is woodland camo from back in the Vietnam days. And, uh, I have the digital, I have the desert, I have the woodland, so uh, I would have to try to pick which one I'm going to wear. Or black, I have the black ops outfit, kids call them my pajamas. So uh, you're going to have camo, you're going to have black, and then you're going to have to have civvies to get you around when you're not out there if you want to blend in. you got to have at least one blue jeans and t-shirts and that. So. That would be uh, camo or no camo. When the situation calls for it, that's when it is. And uh, the next one would be solo or group. Well, I'm a grandpa. Wife, kids, grandkids. So I would have to say it would be not group, but family and friends. Somebody that you can trust your six on. Where? Well, it would depend if it's... Uh, if you're sheltering in place, there's like chemical or something like that. You don't want to be out in it. 
you have to prep your residents. If you're going to leave civilization altogether, if it just tore down and there's nothing there to stay for, well then, you know, you get the hell out of Dodge. Then it comes to that bug out vehicles here in a minute I'll get to. Or, you know, there's places that uh, you can create a stronghold, like around here if something really hit the fan. I would take it right over here, less than uh, five miles away, we have the brand new Phoenix Cardinals football stadium, which is state of the art. They have medical, which is x-rays, they have kitchens, toilets, they have everything there. And you'd have high enough that you can secure the perimeter with not too many uh, sentries. And uh, if they were to get to the inner boundaries of the building, then doors and all that's going to hold people. So uh, that would be an idea. And along the way, there is a couple of gun shops. So, you know, stock up, get your food, get your ammo, get your weapons, get your ass to someplace secure. Then another one would be... Uh, Oh, the vehicles. Okay, let me hit the button and I'll be right back. There you go. As far as bug out vehicles, I think I'll be uh, either using my old Chevy right here and you like camo. I got kind of camo, kind of not camo. And as you heard, I didn't let it warm up enough. I got my... Uh, baby over here I think this will get me on down the road and with that I will uh, let you know that my video is over. Thank you, Zombie Man. Hope I win.